Okay, now what are some of the ratios that we're going to be concerned with? And there are a variety of ratios that we look at. Some of the ratios that you'll see, there's the current ratio, quick ratio, inventory turnover ratio, uh, receivable turnover, debt to equity ratio, and so on. So some of the ratios of concern for us, current ratio, current ratio is current assets over current liabilities. It tells us how solvent the company is. If you've got four to one, that's good. If you've got one to four, that ain't so good. Then we've got what we call the quick or the acid test ratio. And that's gonna be these assets that are quickly convertible to cash. Of your current assets, which are quickly convertible? How about cash? How about marketable securities? Because a marketable security has a market. I own 100 shares of Apple. Could I sell it today? Sure. Um, how about accounts receivable, net AR? Well, receivables, could so would, would someone buy your receivables? Could you factor, pledge, discount receivables? Yes, you could, so they have a value. Divided by current liabilities. So what's missing from here to here? Here, this includes inventory. With inventory, can you quickly convert inventory? No, because you may have inventory that's obsolete. You have, may have inventory that's overvalued. It's not lower of cost or market and so on. So therefore, that's not part of the quick or acid test. We have what we call accounts receivable turnover ratio. What is turnover? Whenever you see the word turnover, take the name and whoop, turn it over. So it's gonna be something over average AR. Hmm. Okay, now accounts receivable comes out of what? Sales. But what kind of sales? Total sales? No, because a total sale, if someone pays you cash, what's the probability of collecting it? 100%, as long as it's not counterfeit fake money. So it's going to be net credit sales. So credit sales over average AR, that's going to give you some kind of ratio, let's say 6.0. What does 6.0 mean? It means that your receivables turn over six times a year or every two months. That tells you valuation that maybe your receivables are so old that they're not going to be collectible. So if you're going to buy, let's say you want to buy my company and I go, hey, I've got accounts receivable of a million dollars. I'll sell them to you for a million dollars. You're going to say, wait a sec, how much are they really worth? Well, that's where you have to go out and you've got to figure out how often do they turn over. If receivables turn over six times a year or every two months, and I've got receivables that are six months old, you're going to go, dude, they should have zero value. I'm not going to pay you face value for those. They're not worth it. That's where you have to go through, and we learn in financial accounting about an aging of AR, or basically, so we're going through and we're aging zero to 30 days old, we're going to assume 2% is uncollectible. 30 to 60 days old, 5%. 60 to 90 days old, 10%, 90, you know, and so on. So you're aging them to see what the real value should be. That's called average AR. So that tells you how many times. Another one is called inventory turnover. Again, flip it, something over average inventory. How about cost of goods sold? Now, what does that tell you? That tells you that Let's say it's 6.0. That tells you inventory turns over six times a year or every two months. So I'm selling you my company or you're evaluating my balance sheet and you go, hey, inventory turns over six times a year or every two months. If you have inventory that's three months old, maybe it's obsolete. Maybe we need an inventory adjustment. Maybe my inventory is milk and it's six months old. It ain't saleable. It's called buttermilk now. So the point is, we're gonna have an audit adjustment. Inventory is overstated. Again, get into the mindset. The client wants to make themselves look bigger, better, stronger, healthy. So what do they do? Overstate assets, overstate receivables, overstate inventory. Those receivables, they ain't collectible. Inventory, it ain't saleable. Right? You can't sell it. No one wants it. So those are the purpose of ratio. Debt to equity, total liabilities divided by total stockholders equity. Those are just some of the different ratios. Now, in your notes, you'll see that we put a whole list of important ratios. You will see these in some of the questions. I don't want you to memorize them all, but as you're doing the homework, if they're asking you about a particular ratio, go ahead and refer back to the table, back to the chart, so you can kind of work through it and see if the numbers make sense. You'll see here, they're broken up between liquidity, which <coughs> measures the company's short-term ability to pay its obligations. Activity measures how effectively the company uses its assets. Profitability measures 
the degree of success or failure of a given company or division for a given period of time, profitability. Coverage measures the degree of protection for long-term creditors and investors. Okay, so uh, some of these, okay, working capital is what? Current assets minus current liabilities. So that is current assets minus current liabilities. And it, here you'll see the purpose or use measures the company's solvency. How solvent am I? My current assets minus current liabilities. Current ratio, that's this one, current assets divided by current liabilities measures short-term debt paying ability. So this is short-term because it's current over current liabilities. <laughs> Quicker acid test, cash, marketable securities, receivables, divided by current liabilities, measures immediate short-term liquidity. So notice here, this one is more uh, accurate than this because it includes everything that's quickly convertible. That's why it's called the quick or acid test because it's all your current assets quickly convertible into cash. Uh, current cash debt. Coverage ratio, net cash provided by operating activities over average current liabilities, measures the company's ability to pay off its current liabilities in a given year.